March is Women's History Month, and tonight, a story about footsteps to freedom. Our David Sponge shows you how a young Philadelphia slave named Ona was able to escape from the most powerful couple in the United States. These fake footsteps in the shadow of Independence Hall represent a very real woman. Ona Judge was just 23 when she escaped her owners, George and Martha Washington. The bravery, the fearlessness uh, just inspires me uh, continuously. Gina Gilliam is with Independence National Historical Park and invited us along for Ona's story. My ancestors were slaves, so I can think about how it was for my people. I can't even imagine what it was like for Ona. Judge was born a slave in 1773 and traveled everywhere with the Washingtons. When George was president, he lived at the corner of 6th and Market in this home. These are the ruins of that home still seen today. While the Washingtons ate dinner one spring night, Ona made her great escape. She'd planned for her escape carefully. She had packed her things, snuck them out of the house days in advance. And she did it with the help of many black citizens living in freedom. Essentially, it's an underground railroad before there was an underground railroad, before there were railroads even. President Washington was so determined to get Ona back, he had an ad placed in a local Philadelphia newspaper. And here it is, May 23rd, 1796. The ad calls for Ona's return. The reward, President Washington was prepared to pay just $10. But Ona never saw the Washingtons again. She was able to slip out uh, really unnoticed, and by the time they did notice, she was already uh, on a ship um, going north. Judge lived out her days in New Hampshire. She died in 1848, 52 years of freedom. I'm just so pleased that she was able to live her life out as a free woman. In Philadelphia, David Spunt, CBS3 Eyewitness News.